Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brains. In this video, we are going to show how to bind a grid view to a SQL data source. So let's start with our tutorial. In Visual Studio, we have opened grid view examples project and in that project we have added a page grid view example 13. So if we open this page in the design mode, we have two objects. One is the grid view and other is the SQL data source. So this grid view, to add this grid view, we can go to toolbox, select the grid view and drag drop. To add the SQL data source, we can select the SQL data source and add it to the ASPX page. And we have named this grid view as GV user details and we have named the SQL data source as SQL DS user details. So in the database we have created a table user details and that user detail is having the details like user id username email id phone number qualification if we see the data this table is having three records so what we want is we want this three records to appear in grid view using the sql data source If we see the source of the grid view, the ID is GV user details. We have set the property as auto generate columns equal to false and the data source ID, the source from where we, are want to, we want to get the data is the SQL data source. So we have named the associated the SQL data source to the grid view. In the SQL data source, we need to mention the connection string from where we want to get the data and also the select command, which will retrieve the data from the particular connection will take the connection string will go to the database and fire this query and fetch the data so the sql data source is getting the connection string from connection strings dot my connection string this connection we have mentioned in the web config file in the connection string section of the web config file we have added a connection like my con and named the connection string to my local database and the database is tested db and the data source is the source of your of your date db which you which we, the instance which you have connected to the database as you can see there is no coding involved in the c sharp it's all all the coding is taken part in the designer phase to bind the columns we have used inside the column section we have added a bound field to each bound field we have mapped each column which we want to show on the grid and that column name like username qualification country should match to the database field the header text we can change the header text that that is not mapped to the database column suppose we want to add a new column like user email id in the database we can see there's a column called email id this email id should match to the data field mapped so if we run this page what we will get is we are getting the email id as you can see the header text is different from what is there in the database let's insert a new record Let's insert one more record. So as you can see, there are five records right now in this database. So let's refresh this page and all the five records are available on the grid. So in this tutorial, we learned how to bind a grid view to a SQL data source for more videos, you can visit youtube.com slash 20 fingers to brains. Also, you can visit our blog 20 fingers to brains.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.